It's not easy being cheesy, said by a cool cat in the 90s or 2000s. He came on a box of snacks that were like cheese flavored snacks. They're kind of like chips. And the words that he said were, it's not easy being cheesy, which I think is actually kind of true. You know, I think a lot of people think that it's just easy to make bad jokes. And it's not, it's pretty tough. It takes a lot of dedication. Because what happens is people don't laugh at your jokes. It's more encouraging to make jokes when people laugh at them. I actually made one joke in dental school that people laughed at, and I felt pretty cool about it. But all the other jokes, no one really laughed at. But it's okay, because people don't need to laugh at your jokes for you to think that they're funny. And I think that's what's important, is that you think they're funny. Because, you know, as long as they're not at the expense of other people or hurting anyone or anything like that, like. It doesn't really matter if people don't laugh at your jokes because if you're laughing, then you're having a good time. And even sometimes, like, you can think a joke is funny and you don't even have to laugh. You can just think it's funny. And then that's more exciting. Ting. Ting, ting, ting. Yo, what an insane two Altar leaders from this case. Luffy and Bello Betty. This guy's nasty from what I hear also. I don't really know even what he does, but I love the art, I love his character, so very hyped to pull that. And there should be another alt art in here also, based on that Shrippum, based on our calculations. But yeah, this uh, this Shrippum session, brought to you by Joku DMD, Kaizoku Cards, and dental, DMD, dental .com, is uh is really focused on jokes. My name is Joku, and it's not really that the joke's on you, Sabo, nice. I think that's it for this box. It's not really that the joke's on you, really the joke's on me, actually, because I'm kind of just laughing at myself for most of this stuff. But what happens sometimes is people think my jokes are funny. I think like maybe 8% of my jokes come across on the internet. And it's a pretty it's a pretty reasonable success rate for me because I feel like um, the other 92%, 92% like I, I still get to laugh at all that, you know? I'm not like missing out on the laughing. It is fun to laugh with people, and I'm fine with people laughing at me also. I drive this little car with no doors, and it's really funny looking. It's kind of slow. It's a low-speed vehicle. Well, I do whip it around town, but it's a low-speed vehicle, and whew, mon chéri. Uh, I think there could still be something else in this box. I'll have to trip and find out. But, um, you know, like, it's great. Sharing a laugh, so much fun. And the cool thing about laughter also is you get to hear this part of people that only they have, right? Like if you get a really deep laugh out of somebody, nobody else can make that sound. It's just them. But everybody understands it also. So it's this really cool language that we all speak that's unique to us that we can share and understand that something's funny. A lot of people ask me like, do you know how to speak Japanese? Because I say stuff in Japanese when I go to Japan frequently. And while I know a couple things, I wouldn't necessarily say I know Japanese. But I do know enough Japanese to make most people there laugh. And I think it's a little more laughing at me because I'm silly and I look like an anime character and I think I talk like an anime character. But it's still fun for me because the laugh comes out. Whatever what it's about, you know? So, yeah, it's not easy being cheesy. It's true. And I think these are things that we have to recognize in life that you're not always going to get everyone to laugh at everything you do. But sometimes it's actually more fun to just laugh by yourself because at the end of the day really the only thing that you can guarantee every single time no matter what you actually don't have an option about this pretty much is that you know you have to go to sleep and fall or wake up and fall asleep with yourself every time no matter what no matter who's in your life no matter who you're high-fiving no matter who you know you're practicing somersaults with or or doing um <clears throat> extroverted handstands like whatever it is you're gonna have to go to sleep and wake up with yourself every single time. So, if you can at least make that person laugh or entertain that part of your brain, that's kind of a win, right? Oh yeah, by the way, this case was delivered by Yamato Delivery Inc. I saw on the box. It said it. That's why I decided to open this one. But we still got two more boxes, and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about jokes. I don't think there's anything in this. Box. Well, there's things in this pack, actually, that's a thing. But I don't think there's any more alt arts in that box. We got our Mon Chéri. What a cutie. What a little cutie. Two more boxes. Let's strip them. For me, personally, 
there was actually there was a joke that got me to start remembering jokes and i really like jokes because i think that they're like funny tools to make friends and you can also kind of like weed people out right if like someone doesn't laugh at a joke that you think is really funny bless them it might be easy enough to just say well i actually am not going to waste my time with this person because we don't laugh at the same stuff and you know you can have stuff in common with people that's fine. It's cool to have stuff in common with people. It's cool if you both like to play cards or you both like to go uh, to the jungle gym on the weekends or whatever it is. But people change. Things change. Life changes. That's how it goes. But if you like the same things that are funny, then you get to laugh at stuff with them forever. And that's really cool because laughing is really fun. So having somebody that you can laugh with is important. And when you tell a joke, to a person and they laugh at it if they're not just trying to be nice and they actually really hear that like bellowing laugh that like comes out of their gut that's pretty cool and that is something that you get to appreciate for all of time so i think it's worth you know checking the waters with laughter see where it's coming from see how it is and if you tell the right sequence of jokes for the right period of time you just might make a lot of cool friends in random places but yeah, anyway, the first joke that got me to start remembering jokes was like, my friend walked in, and we were all like sitting around, hanging out in college, and my friend walks in, and she's like, Emma G, Emma, if you're watching this, you told me the first joke that got me to remember jokes. She's like, guys, guys, I just had the best joke. And I was tuned in. I was paying attention. She was like, what did the egg say to the cup of boiling water? I was baffled, I had no idea. I had no idea what an egg would say. And I've heard about nude eggs recently, but I didn't really know what this egg would say. And the answer was, sorry, it's gonna take me a minute to get hard, I just got laid by a chicken. I was like, I was comatose, it was so funny. It got me on so many levels. I felt like there were so many pieces to that joke that were just so good that it was gonna be a source of entertainment until you know I expire probably and while you might not find that joke that funny that's fine but to me it was really funny and to me it was enough to get me to start remembering jokes so I started listening to more jokes and I found that over time I would just you know pick up a joke and tell it to myself over and over tell it to people occasionally and eventually yo did I just bless him another alt art this is nuts this is wild what's it gonna be What's going to be in this pack? It's going to be something shiny. I'm like pretty positive. Uh, what alt art do I not have? Oh yeah, that chick from the uh, from the army. Mon Cherie! I'm getting Cherie'd. I'm getting Mon Cherie'd. That's fine. She's such a cutie. I got no problem having that cutie. What a cutie little card. What a cutie. I also had a really great experience playing that card once. So I think forever, anytime I see that card will make me happy. Which is nice. Cause now I got more. All right, shrimping time. Get into the last one. How are we gonna pull a manga rare? How do you, is there a way to summon a manga rare these days? Does anybody know the trick? Oh, manga Luffy. That's who I'm really looking for. Huh? All my lights are dying, but this actually looks kind of cool. Cool in the in the darker realm. I'll charge him after this one. I'm just gonna keep running it. Keep it running. Bless him. Um, is there a way, manga Luffy? Uh, enough with the jokes. You guys get my joke theory now. Is I don't want to beat a I don't want to beat a horse into death. I don't want to beat a horse until it's not even a horse anymore and it's just a dead thing. So, oh, oh, ah, ah. Oh. <laughs> you got me, boy. You got me, boy. I really thought it was. I really, really thought it was for a second there. You know, because it looked like it. I had a I had that feeling where. My eyeballs came off my eyes, but I think I could, I, th there should still be a secret rare in here. And if there should be a secret rare in here, it could be a Luffy. And if it could be a Luffy, then it could be a Manga Luffy, I think. I don't know if those odds exactly check out, but if I bless him the Manga Luffy right now, I'm on fire. I'm cracking through all these packs well, until I get the heat, obviously. What's it gonna be? There's our Kaido. And there's always a rare behind that I keep forgetting. Manga Luffy. I, I, I'd be so happy to see you just arrive out of one of these packs. If you want to fly into the back of this one right now, it would be really cool. Or any of them, really. Just you in the back of the pack on a bunch of manga panels. I'm into it. Kaido. I'm getting mean by Kaido. How, why did you do that to me? What did, what did I do to Kaido? Why did you got to do that to me? I thought we had an alright thing going. 
Anyway, um, that's a shrimp on jokes. I hope you enjoyed it. And, you know, just because you're cheesy, it's okay. Have faith in yourself. Believe in yourself. Because if you don't, who will? I am a dentist. I can't end without giving a dental tooth tip. Um, flossing is important, actually. And the reason why it's important is because the food that gets stuck between your teeth attract bacteria. And the bacteria produce acid when they eat that food that breaks down the tissue connection of the gum tissue to the tooth, leaving way for them to get to the bone. Eventually, those bacteria will start lowering the bone level, and as the bone level lowers, your teeth have less support in your mouth. So it's really great to floss and get that stuff out of there so bacteria can't ruin your bones. See you in the next one. This is, it's, it's 20, 23, the year to grab the bulls, buys the balls. Bumble style. <laughs>